Quincy Lucas is one of 16 so-called everyday Americans who rode along with President-elect Barack Obama today. I am a normal person, but today I feel pretty special. But Quincy's journey really began six years ago. The mother and fourth grade teacher was living a quiet life in Dover, Delaware, when her younger sister Whitney was murdered by her ex-boyfriend. The timing of me being on the train falls on the sixth anniversary of my sister's murder. Lucas started a nonprofit in her sister's name and joined forces with Delaware's senior senator to support tougher laws to protect women. I never thought I'd see the day where I could be a voice for Whitney and so many people. When Senator Biden officially took the vice presidential nomination this summer, it was Quincy Lucas who threw his hat into the ring. Joe Biden! Now Lucas is bringing that voice to Washington, at least for a few days. Kids are pretty excited, huh? Yeah, they are. What do you think about your teacher going to D.C.? I think that it's very awesome of her to like hang out with Barack Obama. I hope the message that they're, saying, that they're sending is not only come on board the train, but join us uh, as we move in, in this direction. Join us on this journey. What do we think the inauguration is about? I think it's about like they have a parade. It's a time to go to work and save our country and stuff. Lucas says in the future she'd like to work for the Obama administration. But for now, she has plenty to accomplish in homeroom. Priya David, CBS News, Dover, Delaware.